teach you how to make um, an emergency match because if you have by the way strike anywhere matches right you know that you get the Redbird ones if you're buying matches um, and the reason that you do that is uh, you want something that's got the little the little color thing on the, on the end right because they will not only light on the box but they'll light on any rough surface a brick or a rock or something like that but if you light this match and you need it to start a fire or something like that, you know, once it's lit, it, it might last you 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, something like that, and that's all. So what you want to try to do is you want to try to um, create a match that will work better. There's a bundle of cotton, black cotton over there, yarn. There we go. Good. All right. And it'll work better. I first started, uh, I thought that I would use um, this, but uh, uh, this is acrylic. And so when I tried it at home, what happens is that you, you wrap the match in the acrylic and it just melts and it doesn't last very long. So we're going to try cotton and see whether that works any better. I haven't had a chance to try it because I just got it. And you guys will have a chance to make one afterwards. Cotton or wool? No, this is cotton. Yeah. So I was surprised that I, I did, I, there was even cotton yarn, but it is there. All right, now. The other thing you're doing is you're waterproofing it, right? <laughs> yes, I'm waterproofing it and I'm making it so it lasts a long time. In here, I have some wax. I just got this wax from dollar store candles. So you get a dollar store candle and you take your knife and carefully you, you, you flake pieces of white. Um, wax off it, put it in a, uh, a, a tin can of some sort, make sure there's no holes in the bottom of it, and then you want to melt it. The thing is though, you have to melt it very, very carefully because it can burst into flames if it gets too hot, right? So technically, and I don't have any water here, but um, do you have a little bit of water? Okay, yeah. so that would work out well. Um, Try to get this to be just a just a, a, a centimeter or so on the bottom. That's already uh, probably don't want it on good. the plastic. Okay. Eh? Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to double boil it. So I would never put this right over a flame. I would never put it right over a, a stove or anything like that. I would always double boil it. While we are um, <coughs> waiting for this to melt, you want to take one of these matches and. You can make more than one. You can make a bunch of them, but you make them at home. And what you want to do is you want to wrap them in this uh, in this material here. Okay. So I'm going to start off, and you can figure out how you want to tie your end here. Um, thing about knots is that I haven't taught you any yet. I'm going to tie a clove hitch on the end here. But you can just tie a basic over and a hand knot. They're really Yarn is really awkward to work with because <coughs> it likes to come apart on you. But you want to make it nice and tight at the top. Okay. And then you want to wrap it around. And bring it down here as far as you can. And then at, at the end, when you're about two thirds of the way down, then again, I'm going to tie a clove hitch here, and if you don't know how, I'll teach you sometime or other. And basically, it's just. Oops. It's always awkward to work with string. This way, nice and tight. And then again, same thing.
And now I've got my match wrapped and I've got a little bit left over so that I can hold on to it. Anybody not have matches? Matches? I don't no, mean no stinking matches. <laughs> It was well synced. <laughs> okay, and we're getting pretty close to being. And I do really want to emphasize this: don't try to take a shortcut and do this right over a flame. Do use the double boiler. All right. Obviously, once it is uh, melted, and we've got enough of it melted here that I can put this in. And all I'm doing is I'm dipping the whole thing in. Then I'm going to take it out. I'm going to let it drip off. And then I'm going to let it dry. Okay. So I've got a match wrapped in cotton or wool, not acrylic, dipped in wax. And I'm going to tell you right now is that when you eventually light it, and I'll show you that in a second, you need to take the wax off the head or it won't light. Okay? I'm going to need something to light it on. Okay? Once it's off, it dries pretty quickly. And I would cut this little piece at the end off here. Alright? I would cut this off. You don't really need that. But don't cut it too close to where you tied your knot or else it'll come undone on you. All right, so um, I'll cut that off. Also, you need to be aware of the fact that um, this will um, this will drip wa hot wax on you if you hold it up like this. You know, the wax that's here is going to drip down onto your fingers, so you want to hold it on an angle. All right, and so when you're ready to light it, okay, then the first thing you want to do is you want to take the wax off the end. And what we've got here then is a match that will burn for a long time. Burn your fingers. Blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it out. Put, put, it on, put, put it on the mantle on the, oh the brick. If you're worried about it, put it over here, but not by the uh, oh, Don't by drop the it on the floor. Yeah. I'm not going to light this. I'm just going to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that doesn't work. Hey, we're going to I feel you, man. It's okay. Size doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> it's what you do. We should watch watching Rocky Horror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there they go. There it's right. like dangling. Richard, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Ow. Okay. Wow. 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 Wow.